At 65 cents per bushel, the daily supply for wheat is 450 bushels and the daily demand is 640 bushels. When the price is raised to 80 cents per bushel, the daily supply increases to 700 bushels and the daily demand decreases to 520 bushels. If the supply and demand equations are linear, find the equilibrium price and quantity. So let's label these real quickly. We've got the supply line and the demand line. Sometimes they're called supply and demand curves because in reality they usually are curved. But for, uh, for this example, we're going to assume that they are linear equations. And what we have first is the supply. The supply, we've got uh, Q in the x-axis and P in the y-axis. So we list the quantity of the supply first. The quantity is 450, pulling off this information, 450 at 65 cents per bushel. And I'll list the price in cents. Instead of $0.65, I'll put 65 cents. The demand is going to be at the same price at 65 cents, but the first coordinate is going to be a little different. The demand is 640. 640 bushels at 65 cents. All right, let's move on to the uh, when the price increases. The price is, is going up here, and we've got a supply point of 700 bushels. So 700 at 80 cents. Again, price being in terms of cents instead of point eight dollars and same price of 80 cents is going to give a demand of 520 bushels let's see if i can squeeze that in there 520 bushels comma 80 cents okay that gives us uh two points for each line which then will let us build an equation for for each so let's start with the supply. For the supply, we have the slope. The slope of the supply equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1, or the difference in y's. I'm going to go 80 minus 65 just because it makes it a little bit easier. We, we don't have to go into the negatives, but, but that's fine. So 80 minus 65, and then 700 minus 450. So change in Y over change in X, or in this case, change in price over change in quantity. And that is going to equal 0 0.06. That gives us an equation. I'll just put that right here of P minus P sub 1. We're going to do the, remember, uh, Y coordinates f first, or P is, is our Y coordinate. So we're going to say P minus we need uh, a point. We need a. We've got the slope, and we we need the the point here. We're going to use this one. Let me circle what we're using right here. And just to make that clear, I'll I'll put this in orange. Okay, so P minus um, sixty-five equals the slope 0 0.06 times Q minus 450. We've got one of the equations. That is the supply equation. All right, moving on to the demand. The slope for the demand is going to be, I'll go 80 minus 65 again. 80 minus 65, but then we have to go in the same order, 520 minus 5 minus 640. 520 minus 640 to get the slope of the demand line equals negative 0.125. All right, let's use this. Let's use the 65 point again. 
So that equation for the demand is going to be P minus 65 equals the slope of negative 0.125 times Q minus 640, our X value or our Q value. We've got our two equations. Solving for P, I'm going to put these back in the blue and red colors. We've got the supply equation and the demand equations. So the supply equation uh, coming from this this orange, but I'm going to write it in blue again to stay with that theme of blue. We we get P equals 0 0.06 Q plus 38. And the demand equation P equals negative 0.125 Q plus 145. Okay, now this gives us a sense of what we are looking for. We've got the equations of these lines. The intersection of those lines is going to be the solution to this system of equations. And the intersection of those lines is going to be the equilibrium point. And that's what we were looking for this whole time equilibrium point and then that uh, Q and P value of the solution of this system of, equ of equations will be that price and quantity. I'll list the, uh, let's see what we solve for first. I think we'll solve for the quantity first. I'm going to take this for P and plug it in for P in the other equation. So using the substitution method. I'm going to say 0 0.06 Q plus 38 equals, now I plugged that value of P, that expression for P, into the demand equation, and then I will continue with this demand equation right here, equals negative 0.125 Q plus 145. And just not to belabor this and, and take too long of your of your time, you can solve for Q here, and the Q, the quantity, will be 578 bushels per day. That's the equilibrium. Okay, that's one of our answers. Let's continue plugging this value of Q in to either one of these equations because we're finding that equilibrium point where they're both uh, at the same point, both of these equations. So I could use either one. I'm going to use the, the one where the slope is positive. Uh, and that's, that's your preference. You can use either one. So we have P equals 0 0.06 times 578 bushels per day plus 38. And P is approximately equal to, I've rounded here again with the quantity as well, uh, 73. I've got this in terms of cents. The price is in cents. So I'm going to say, I'm going to convert back to the way the, the problem has it written in uh, point dollars. So I'm going to say 578 bushels per day at 73 cents or point seven three uh, dollars. 73 cents per bushel. And that is the solution. That's going to be our, our equilibrium point. Okay, that is an application of economics with a linear system of equations.